Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, it is a pack with me video. I am packing for a solo trip to the DR and I pack with a carry-on only. You guys know from my videos if you're familiar with my channel. If you're not, click that subscribe button. But if you're familiar, you know I travel only with a carry-on luggage I have for the last decade now. I've not checked a bag. Walked up to that counter and said, here, I'm here to check this bag real quick in the last decade. And I do not plan on breaking Breaking that streak anytime soon although I will if I have to I don't plan on doing it for this trip and so therefore I am packing today for my trip that leaves two days from now in this video you're gonna see me pack and actually go through outfits I know I went through a pack with me video a few months ago but this time I'm actually gonna kind of talk about my ideas for the concepts for my clothing I just pack clothes without sharing with you guys what clothes I was packing this time I'm gonna go through because this is a birthday trip and so my birthday outfits and the way I pack is a wee bit different for when it's that time of my own celebration. So without further ado, let's get into it. I got my luggage from Amazon. I bought it about three years ago. It is travel size approved. I do fly a majority of the time American Airlines. So the luggage that I use is suitable for that. I know that some other carriers like Spirit, Frontier, other carriers have different accommodations for carry on, but this works for like an American Airlines delta type flights and I have my backpack which does fit under my seat everything that I think I can link I will link down below if I forgot anything remind me but most of everything that I'm gonna be packing today is in that description box so let's get started so this is the inside of my luggage I am not a fancy luggage gal and going back to the fact that I don't check a luggage it's not because it's too expensive now that I have the American Airlines city card I just recently got that as one of my travel cards I bought the chase I didn't buy but I signed up and applied and got the chase sapphire preferred as one of my travel cards and because it had a zero percent annual fee I got the American Airlines city card which one of the perks is preferred boarding as well as you do get one check back so the flight that I'm going on I could check a bag and it would cost me zero dollars it's not because of cheapness that I don't check a bag it's just because there's a level of comfort that comes with the bag being near me at all times it's my OCD that gets me scared. I've never had a lost luggage, but it is a fear of mine that may be irrational. However, let's get started. Like I said in my last video, I always pack and line my bag with a belt. I only bring one belt most trips and it is a reversible belt. So sometimes it's camel, sometimes it's black. Last time I wore it, it must have been black. Um, but all I have to do is pop this out and then flip this and then you just put it back on the opposite side and then the belt voila becomes camel so it's reversible i got some questions in my last video where it's from it is from tori birch so all i do is line my luggage with that so that's my first step of this process so that takes up very little room and it's already good to go. Next, we go into my packing cube. I talked about this again in my last video. It's not for size decompression or compression. It's more for me mindfully being like, I need to fit my items of clothes in here. I don't try to bring more clothes than that can fit in this area now easier said than done most times but that is my goal what I do is I roll my clothes so let's get into the clothes I'm bringing now you'll see these in action if you watch my vlog but I'll just kind of briefly talk about them I like this little dress it gave me good vibes and looking at the weather for a DR it's gonna be pretty warm like highs between 80 three to 86 every day that I'm there. So I thought this dress was cute. I got it from Ann Other Stories. I visited that store when I went to New York because I'd never heard of it before, before going to New York City. And so I didn't buy this while I was there, but I came home and ordered it when I came back. So I'm gonna just bring this dress. It was a cute little fall, although we're getting into winter times i do roll my clothing sometimes dresses are harder especially when it's this kind of ruffled dress but i try to also group outfits together so these pants i had them in mind with like this shirt 
Um, I got the pants from Zara. You guys know I have these pants in seven, eight different colors. You've seen the high-waisted Zara pants. And then this top from Fashion Nova. As I was thinking of pairing these together, it worked in my mind, but I'm gonna keep these two together for like a dinner type of an atmosphere, depending on if it gets cooler at night. So got that. Next thing, another dress. Again, it's my birthday, so I wanna have dressy dress options, maybe a birthday dress option. And I got this dress from Fashion Nova as well. Next, I got this dress when I didn't know how cool it was gonna be down there. Um, so it's kind of a, a winter dress. If it doesn't work for there, it might work as a coming back dress just because I'm coming back to colder temp. I'm gonna just pack this up. And again, another Fashion Nova purchase. Again, another Fashion Nova black dress. I am there for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, four nights. So this is probably, I think, the last dress that I have. Now, as far as the belt, I did have these pants um, and then I have this pair of shorts. Shorts are from Aritzia, pants are from Zara. Um, I was just thinking of, and they're already kind of wrinkly. So somebody asked me, do I care about wrinkles too? Um, I don't mind using an iron. I'm an iron growl here, so I don't mind using an iron there. I could have pre-ironed it. I am packing this in these pants and a shirt um, in the event that I want a kind of more casual look or again, another option for coming back home in the airport. Shirt is from Everlane. It's just a basic kind of striped shirt. And I'm also going to take this dress too that is from Loft. It's just kind of a casual kind of same type of vibe as this, but just kind of another casual dress <laughs> Whew, so that took a lot of work but everything that i'm gonna wear is in this side so we are done with clothing so next let's get into toiletries it was a hot button topic the last time i did this video i'm sure i'm gonna get tons of comments i mean i got so many comments about the toiletry situation. Like, how do I get away with three different elements? Do I have pre-check? There were so many questions about the toiletry situation. Like I said in that video, this is how I've been packing for the last decade. There was, I've never been on the TSA website. I didn't know there was a three quarts thing or three bags. You couldn't have this many bags. When I bought this, they gave me three bags. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, when I bought this set from Amazon, it's just like a clear, like almost Ziploc bag. I used to have three Ziploc bags or I used to do one big giant like freezer bag, but I just, it was just getting too much. So I wanted something a little bit more sturdy. So I got these set, the set of three from Amazon. And what I've just do is I divvy up. So I divvy up one for like facial stuff. So like my ponds, my cleansers, my, that type of stuff. Then I go for just a little, I could condense these, honestly. I could put the toothbrush and the toothpaste in another separate thing, but um, no, I like to divvy it up. And then one is for body, so lotions, deodorants, uh, perfumes, those types of things. I do tend to bring like two, so I bring like two deodorants because they're travel size. So what if I run out? Again, my OCD and scaredness of over-preparedness always has me probably overpack, but I don't consider it overpacking because I still can fit everything in a carry-on. So again, this is just how I pack. I don't have pre-check. Um, people said it just might be the airports you're going to. I've been to Charlotte, San Francisco. Like you've seen every vlog. I've been out of the country. I've been to Mexico. One person did say, yes, you typically can always get away with more toiletries, but the London airport, if you're going to the London airport, um, they are very much so sticklers about things. So thank you subscriber who pointed that out, but they said generally what you're doing is totally fine it's totally fine for most airports but London so when I go to London which I have on the books for next year I probably will have to come up with a different way because I still want to pack a carry-on hopefully to that one this is how I always pack my toiletries oh I have my floss too so let me put my floss in this bag making sure that I have enough soaps and lo like lotions and again these aren't typically the skincare I would use on a day-to-day -day basis but it is good enough for travel me so 
The thing I love about Sephora is that sometimes they give samples. This was the happy birthday. The trip that I'm going on is my birthday trip in November during the Sephora VIB sale. They were like, happy birthday, we're giving you your birthday thing. So I like to get the skincare most of the time because that becomes the skincare I typically use for travel. So I might just put some of this. Um, it's the Tatcha cleanser and then the dewy screen cream. I use the full size of this. I'll actually add this to my travel. So this is my face bag. Because this is a trip that involves sun, um, I almost forgot I need my sunscreen. Somebody said in my last video, how do they let you bring a full size sunscreen in when I showed this? It is, if you can see on there, it is three fluent ounces. So maybe it looks bigger on camera, but it is a small size um, container. But I do get this, I got this from the travel section of Target, which does have a lot of great, where I got most of the things that I, I have. And here I'm gonna put, I got this top. This looks smaller than I thought, but I got like an extra large in the top. I got this from ASOS. Also the bottoms that go with it. Next, another swimsuit that I got from ASOS. One more ASO swimsuit that when I put it in my car originally, I thought it was a bodysuit. I love a good bodysuit. Thought it was a bodysuit. But then when I looked at it closer, I said, oh, it's a swimsuit when I was in my car. And I was like, that makes me want it even more. It's so unique looking ASOS. And I think I got this in a large size because it's my birthday, my birthday swimsuit. I got this from Amazon a few years ago, I believe. I've worn this before on a different birthday trip, on a different type of trip. I think I was on a cruise. And finally, another just regular basic black. I don't know where I got this from because there is no tag in this one. I've had it for a while. You might notice a the theme. I'm going all black bathing suits this year um, and then these are just cover-up bottoms that i typically wear and that's all for the swim apparel um next in here i'll just put also my under tops or kind of just camis that i might put up under shirts as well as all my undergarments are going to go in here too and then hair i am going i always just keep my hair in this this is an attachment that came with the suitcase um, i just keep my scarf in here uh, my toothbrush for my edge control my edge control oh this is my new one i think this one is empty so no i have a little bit left in here some hairspray i filled this with hawaiian silky my last trip so i poured some hawaiian silky so i poured out what was in here so next is shoes i don't want to wear anything too much too much like i'm not a heels girl in normal life I might bring one pair of heels I'm debating because I do have some dresses that would look better with heels than flats. But like it's my birthday and I can do what I want to. That's a, that's the mindset I'm under. So um I typically I like I like Tories. These are Tory Birch sandals. I have like the, the more jelly kind and then I have these that I wear out all the time. And then these are like my fancy if I want to get fancy. Um and I got these from Amazon. Um, so yeah, I'll just throw these onto the side and then zip up this and then I'm done. And then I zip it up. As I talked about in one of my last videos, I do not open the extender. Like this is the extender for the suitcase, so to give it a little bit more room, this would let it breathe a bit more, but I know some airlines can be finicky. So that, I know it seems unreasonable, but that is it. That's how I fit everything in here. So moving to my personal item, um, I got this backpack from Target. And this backpack is my personal item. Um, you guys asked about it in my last video. It's gray, just like my suitcase, because um, I don't know why I like gray things. I'm not the girliest girl of the world. I don't have a lot of pink, if you notice, in my life. Um, but in here, it's still packed from my last trip, but I will say what I have. Um, you guys know from my last video, I do keep my mirror in here. This is my travel mirror. It might be dead right now um, because 
I don't remember charging it after my last trip, um, but all you have to do is USB charge it, or maybe it's off right now. That's what it is. It's off right now. So you guys can see the camera that you are on. I just like to travel with this, even if it's a place where I know there's a mirror. I don't like doing makeup in a bathroom. I am a weirdo in that way. So I keep that in here as well as my Apple Watch charger because I always have my Apple Watch. I'll probably put this in here actually. This whole heap of headphones, I need to just go ahead and throw these away at this point. Uh, but I saved them from all the big bus tours. I go on those big bus tours when I'm in a city. You've seen my vlog. I don't know why I just hold on. Now it's like sentimental though. Like I, my big bus tour headphones. I do also bring like a USB, just a normal one because I know either my mirror is going to need it, either my camera, one of my cameras will need a USB charger. And then of course my makeup, I put it in this backpack. Everything I, I travel with is, some things are specifically travel size, but most makeup, if you just notice, is just by design a smaller product. So this is the MAC foundation. It's just a smaller product in general. Um, most foundations are what, one fluent ounce in general. So you don't have to necessarily get a bunch of travel sizes of makeup. However, um, I do have the travel soft glam version of the palette. I do have the large soft glam. I love this palette. Um, I typically keep my little mini scissors in here, my baby. I got these out of a sewing kit that I bought from Amazon. I bought this the sewing kit for sewing, but then I saw these little scissors and I was like, I can't bring like huge scissors, but I do need to clip the ends of my hair at times. So these come in handy, makeup remover wipes. So in this pocket is typically my camera equipment. So this is my gimbal, which I'm taking with me this trip. I'm also taking my uh, GoPro <laughs> generic camera, as well as my vlogging camera. I'm not packing that yet because I need to start the vlog of my trip. So my vlogging camera goes in here, as well as in the front, I typically put my external charger. So I always, always, always keep an external charger with me just because it, all my cords are in here too, because, um, I'm not somebody whose phone goes to zero. I'm not somebody with a dead cell phone, especially when I'm traveling solo and people need to get in touch with me and you could have people panicking about where you are. Having a device that is not working is not gonna work for me. In here, I'll put my passport. I have not put it in here yet, but I'll put my passport in here. Things I need easy access to will go in here as well as still carrying a mask. I need to probably bring a couple just in case. You never know the rules of a certain place and you want to be respectful of that. So bringing my mask for sure. I put my other tripod in here as well. My tripod that I'm using to film some other content right now. So um, my third, my vlogging camera, as well as my tripod that is my tall tripod goes in here. And then you guys know, I always bring this bag because this acts as my purse while I'm there. I don't bring a purse because this is my personal item that I bring on the plane, but then I downsize once I'm to the location. So for the remainder of me being at a place, so whether it was like New York or Chicago, this is where I put my effects as I was in the city. I don't walk around with, this is to get me on the plane. This is to get me to the place. This is my purse acting thing. I got this from Target. I, I probably will not link this just because I bought this five years ago. At minimum, it's been five years and I have not seen it in the store since then. I saw like a gray version that was bigger maybe two years ago, but I have not even seen this. But any bag, I mean, Kate Spade makes a bag like this. I mean, this was just a good overall purchase. Overall, that is it. That is how I pack effectively. Also, this bag has a pocket on the side right here that is for like your laptop. This is where I typically put my iPad so that again, you wanna have your items that you need quick and easy access to right up front. So whether that's my laptop, because I am not TSA pre-check yet. I plan on applying now or in the coming weeks before so I can get it. So 2023, when I'm a travel girl, I can have a pre-check. Um, but right now I still have to take off my things and take out my laptop and computer and stuff. So having it right here so I'm not digging in the actual backpack so I can just zoom, pull it out. This is exactly what this zipper is made for. This is how I travel. 
so that is it that's everything and how i'm able to effectively pack with a carry-on again it is literally just because my nervousness with not having my items beside me like just them being somewhere else i know you can get an air tag you can track them i do plan on getting an air tag just in the future for my luggage just to again calm my nerves a little bit if my bag has to go under the plane at any point if you want to stay tuned locked in and subscribe to see my content make sure you click that subscribe button and make sure you have that bell on so you don't miss anything that i do make sure you're tuned in too so that you don't catch the vlog of this trip that i go on so you can see these outfits in in play and also follow me on instagram because i'm sure i'll share them there as well as my tiktok which is leo vaughn and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching Bye.